Next generation of Nigerians would query us if we allow Tinubu rule with questionable certificate. Aremu says, this is a very terrible one, I agree. All right, the APC government <coughs> is laying a very bad foundation for the younger ones. Already, the way it is now, all the youths and the teenagers and the small children of today have been corrupted by the current day politicians of Nigeria. And now it has been aggravated to the highest level. That corruption has been taken to the next highest level by the APC government. And under Tinubu, it's getting worse. So now it is not a corruption of stealing money now. It's even a corruption of document forgery, lies, perjury, lying under oath, and just name it, which is, uh, which is more criminal than just stealing the treasury. Okay? So now... We, the world we are seeing now, because almost everybody in this Tinubu's government and in this cabinet have one case or the other, locally or internationally. And they are all teaming together. That is, the coming of Tinubu to power is all, trying to legalize not just corruption, but even criminality. So, how which, which, which effrontery would this government have to say they are, they are governing in honesty? Or they are going to correct anybody that commits crime? under their government. They don't have the moral justification to arrest or correct criminal activities in the country. Because looking at the state of things, hmm, they are already institutionalizing criminality. That is it. So let's see, um, let's dive into the details of uh, Arimu's observations. Nigerian Socialist and Secretary of the Joint Action Front, Comrade Abiodo Arimu, has called on President Bola Tinubu to resign from office or prepare to be forced out of office. This is coming um, as a court in the United States of America exposed what could be a case of Tinubu's alleged fraudulent and duplicity identity at the Chicago State University. Duplicity identity is just a kind of uh, making it look simple. It is identity theft. Eh? I remember who stated this in a release on Wednesday titled, We Must Reject a First Star as President in This Society, said that Nigerians must rise up to challenge Tinubu, adding that human values in Nigeria were fast eroding. According to the statement, in reaction to the revelations in President Bola Tinubu's academic uh, records, the Chicago State University released to Nigeria's former Vice President Tiko Abubakar, as directed by the U.S. Uh, court, a generation would come to question all who live at this period, how we reacted to the level of our president, Bola Tinubu, as a first star in foreign land. Hmm. Arimu said, we who live at this moment of fast erosion of uh, human values in this Nigeria have a duty to rise to the challenge of confronting Tinubu to either shamefully resign or be disgraced out of office and that he ceases to be a president of Nigeria the very moment the court in the U.S. exposed his background of fraudulent and duplicity identity. Hmm. In the subsisting years to come, a generation will come to question all who lived at this period in Nigeria on how we reacted to the label of Tinubu as a fraudster in foreign land and who equally emerged a president in the fraudulent electoral process in Nigeria, he said. The activists insisted that if Tinubu is not removed immediately, the integrity and moral conscience as Nigerians is at stake. He added that there is no other interpretation to fraud than fraud. Fraud is simply fraud. And for the people of Yoruba origin across the world, the epitome of Yoruba spirituality is Omoluabi, that is integrity, and honor is the prize of integrity. And to those who keep glorifying infamy, because of crumbs or who choose to be passive and indifferent, time and history will soonest uh, leave you. Does her name still echo in Nigeria or we have forgotten? Eh? Be awake, please, on the issue of the... Okay. So that is exactly what is happening here. Okay. So I remember maintain that we must struggle to be a free people. That is it. So, um, what is happening here is uh, a very good Yoruba man. I love what this man is saying. Um, he is a honest, he is this, 
absolute honesty in the same world Tunubu should not stay in the office for the next 24 hours that is the truth just look at what happened in the uk when Boris johnson was the prime minister why did Boris johnson resign from office simply because during covid period okay there was a a, a, a law or something like uh, a ruling that everybody should use nose mask everywhere you go a gathering that is more than a certain number of people maybe five or ten but he had an underground party at the parliamentary building and then all of them did not use a mask and it was unraveled it was exposed and after it was exposed he couldn't defend it and then he put his paper and left so what i will say what else can be worse than a, a a forgery and perjury case and lying on that oath in Tunubu's neck. What can be bad? Number one citizen of Nigeria is now involved in one forgery, perjury, lying on that oath, and even the issue of drug case in the US for feature of one hundred sixty thousand dollars is still there. And it is dozier is still coming because FBI wants to release almost everything about the beginning to the end of Tunubu in the United States, both the good, the bad, the ugly about him. And that is going to be more catastrophic and destructive and going to do more irreparable damage to him than what is happening now with certificate forgery. So how bad can a nation be that will have a very corrupt, fraudulent and almost alleged criminal character as president? It is a very bad one. I tell you, there's nothing in fact the rest of the world is laughing at us no wonder he went to uh he went to you know, the national general assembly and they, they snubbed him there okay they purported that he want to that he was going to meet with biden biden snubbed him he went for a summit in india from there went to abu dhabi to see that he had discussed the issue of a uh, uh, of a uh, of a uh, you know travelers nigerian travelers going to abu dhabi that people can travel now only to find out it was a lie. Okay, he went and uh, he went to New York and rang the bell for New York Stock Exchange, and then they came out to lie to us that he was the first African president in recent times to have rang that bell. And so we found out that it was also a lie. And then the the uh, the uh, Adjuri Galali started apologizing after lying. So what else? Nigeria now Nigeria Foundation is now being rebuilt on lie under Tunubu's government. So it's not just his certificate forgery, he's even lying in government and have paid propagandists to spread lies and rumors and propaganda to keep him in power. How long will Tunubu continue to survive on that propaganda? Which is typical of of Capons, typical of people who are you know who are into tastes that are unimaginable and cannot be mentioned. Eh? So <laughs> now this Aremu has come out to say the truth that Tinubu has to leave or he'll be forced out of office. That is the truth because he's not leaving a good value for us here. And uh, some people are coming against him, some Yorubas are why some Yorubas are supporting him, some are also coming against him. Somebody said, This madman, please show where the university said Tinubu forged their certificate. Can you imagine? When they deny what is submitted, what does that mean? When somebody in the U.S. already saying he's going to sue Tunubu for forging his signature, what does that mean? Hmm. Everything about him is questionable, a fake president. That is it. Yeah? That is it. And that is the whole truth. That is what somebody is saying here. Somebody said, after going through the depositions of the registrar of the CSU, it becomes very obvious that Tunubu did not forge any certificate have we placed too much emphasis on certificates but here unfortunately not so in the u.s can you imagine so tinubu did not forge the certificate when the signature in it the school that is supposed to own that document is saying the this only that is not their own so where did tinubu get it yeah somebody said mumu report the blogger should stop all these lies csu never denied tinubu graduated from their school so why lie here can you imagine he did they, the school did not say Tinubu did not uh, uh, graduate or did not attend, but that the certificate is parading is not their own. So what does that mean? Now everybody when go to school graduate, uh, people are forging certificate everywhere. This is a case of forgery and perjury and lying on that oath. 
The school has this own the certificate that Tinubu is parading. So where did he get it from? Is that no forgery if the school has disowned it? How can people just be gullible like this? Eh? So do we Nigerians love to save our lives by hiding from what seems, seems to be wrong in the name? No one die if not how if not how can we fold our hands on things destroying before our very eyes? Imagine a force in Lagos was reported to claim about five lives because he was dragging steering of car with uh, with a driver because the woman who died was pregnant that is what the forces in power has turned lagos to and now even making nigeria a worse nation yet we sit to watch just as nothing it's quite unfortunate so it's a president with drug case with certificate forgery in the same u.s very funny eh? so and somebody's appreciating him saying uh, Brahimu, you are a true patriot, not partisan or tribal. We must do away with fraudulent leadership for Nigeria to shine gloriously. God bless Nigeria. Amen. Amen. The fraudulent man seated on his Tolu mandate will be sacked and jailed in Jiffy for obese divine honorable enthronement as the authentic president of the Federal Republic of Nigeria. Well, God will help us. This tribal hatred, only God will deliver us from it. So thank you for listening. That is what Arimu is saying. Uh, Abiodo, comrade Abiodun Arimu has said the truth. And uh, I know that the truth is bitter when he has said the truth. So let's hear your comment as well. Thank you for listening.